Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Juliana Fournier, and I would like to welcome you to the 2024 Spring National Honor Society Induction Ceremony. At this time, I'd like to ask you all to please stand for the playing of the National Anthem. In 1972, Winslow's National Honor Society named its chapter after a teacher of 43 years. Throughout her life, she displayed qualities that we, as the members of this society and those who are being inducted today, strive to uphold. Character, leadership, scholarship, and service. After a tragic car accident took the lives of one of her siblings, the responsibility of raising her nieces and nephews fell upon her. Miss Evelyn Grindle was an English department chair, a class advisor, and an overseer to the yearbook publication, as well as a teacher who had command of the classroom. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of Winslow High School graduates who credit Miss Grindle for their knowledge of literature, grammar, and writing. Providing service was important to her as she was a member of the v Women's VFW Auxiliary and prided herself in the phrase, to do more for the world than the world does for you, that is a success. Today, we honor the students who have displayed character, service, leadership, and scholarship qualities that are key pillars to being a well-rounded person. And now, four current members will speak in depth about these qualities. Nathan Hatt will speak on character. Character can be a lot of different things. Character can make or break everything in your life. You need good character to have a great career and even better relationships. A person can show character with small gestures, like saying please and thank you, or holding the door, or even giving compliments, or larger, like supporting someone after a loss. You need to be a good person at heart. These acts are one of the many reasons why these seven were chosen tonight, because they show what being a great person is. I will now light the candle for character. Brayden Ryu will speak on leadership. Leadership isn't just about telling people what to do. It's about motivating them to achieve more than they thought they could. It means creating an environment where everyone feels respected and encouraged to do their best. Leaders don't just boss people around. They listen, they lead by doing, and they help everyone work together towards success. It's about guiding everyone towards a better future, overcoming problems together, and celebrating victories uh, as a team. Um, I will now light the candle of leadership.
Justin Rogers will speak on scholarship. Scholarship is not merely about academic achievement. It embodies a commitment to intellectual curiosity, diligence, and relentless pursuit of knowledge. Scholarship not only enriches our minds, but also serves as the cornerstone of societal progress, fostering innovation, critical thinking, and a deeper understanding of the world around us. It is through scholarship that you have gotten to the positions that you're in today. So let's continue to uphold the ideals of scholarship, for in doing so, we advance not only ourselves, but also our nation and the world at large. I'll now light the candle of scholarship. Talon Loftus will speak on service. First, I would like to congratulate the inductees on this tremendous achievement of being selected as the newest members of the Winslow High School's National Honor Society. One reason you guys were selected was the uh, service you guys provide to your school and community. Service is defined in the Oxford Dictionary as the action of helping or doing something for someone. At its core, service is about putting others before yourself. This requires you to go beyond your personal interests and desires to address the needs of others. Each act of service, no matter how small, has the ability to make an impact on someone's life. Those services that you have provided have not gone unnoticed and are what sets you apart from your peers. Remember to continue to seize every moment and opportunity to help others. These qualities inspire others and make a lasting impact on everyone's life around you. I will now light the candle of service. At this time, we will hear the reading of the newest members of our chapter of the National Honor Society. Please hold your applause until all members have been announced. Madison Acorn. Malin Beaster. Emily Lynn Carlson. Ethan McCaslin.
Kyrie Meek. Adeline Salanpa. Maximilian Spicer. Every year, the members of the National Honor Society recite a pledge. Members and new inductees, please write your, raise your right hand as we recite the pledge. I pledge myself, I pledge myself always to seek the light of truth, always to seek the light of truth, to hold scholarly habits, to hold scholarly habits, to engage in worthy service, to engage in worthy service. And to lead forward in all things. And to lead forward in all things. That shall advance the welfare of the school. That shall advance the welfare of the school. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the newest members of our society. invite you all to join us in the commons for refreshments to celebrate this achievement of our inductees. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 